What is up everyone out there? This is Help Me Help You 96 and today I will be bringing you guys part 2 of my Doris series and you guys are probably wondering where have I been? And and I will start out with a huge apology to you guys for not posting, for not being committed to this and that's completely my fault and that is going to change from now on I will be trying to put out a zombie video about every day so part three will probably be coming out tomorrow it has just been so crazy I had to go to this thing called bivouac for my freshman year in high school um, it's where kids have to go away in the frickin woods for nine days with absolutely no electronics just tents bathing in a fucking lake and just like absolutely pure madness it was just like at first everyone was like ooh let's go camping and then at the end everyone was just like blah 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 I wanna go home I mean it was it was a fun experience just if I would have to choose living in the woods or Cambridge I would choose Cambridge um I think most of us would but hey for those out there who don't don't take offense I do love my woods <laughs> sometimes I mean, it is fun getting away from all the um, electronics, uh, like being outdoors in the wilderness, you know, really trying to uh, see what, you know, life is about and stuff like that. But other than that, I mean, um, I, I, I really had fun, but at the end it was just getting a little bit tiring and everyone was tired and I just wanted to go home. So, all in all, it was a fun experience, but it's good to be back to you guys and I have a lot of funny stories to tell you. But, right now, I won't start with that. Um, I'll probably come out with part three with a funny story. I just want to recap everything that's happened in this video while you guys watch me slay zombies on round eight right now. Um, like I said before, this, is, uh, this video is uh, not going... I'm not going to reveal when we die or what happens or why we die. But, I think you guys are going to enjoy it and I hope you do. So sit back, kick back, and, or whatever you want to do, and uh, enjoy the video. So, um, sorry I'm taking so long to link up these teleporters, I must be very dumb. But, uh, yeah. So, anyway, I actually am trying out for a new hockey team, because I, um, right now, the varsity season does not start for the uh, school, so I have to go and try out for a fall team. So... I get home at around like 9 o'clock every day, and I go to a pretty decent school, um, and you know, it's just, it's hard been with, it's hard to have do, ha what the fuck am I saying, I can't even speak English right now, it's hard to do homework and do videos at the same time, but I definitely will be committed to you, it's just the first week that happened, and I won't let this happen again guys, so please don't get too mad at me about that. Uh, I will try my best to continue doing what I do. So, anyway, uh, about Bivouac, it was, it was, it rained the first few days, and that was just absolutely god-awful, because raining when you're in the woods, it's just terrible. Everything's, everything's just down, everything's muddy, everything, you have to go hiking. I actually went hiking on, like, a 4,000-foot mountain, which was awesome, but when you're on the top of it, it's a little scary. But after that, you feel very accomplished. You're like, wow, I just climbed that. And, yeah. So, also, today is a Friday night, guys. And you pri probably think that I have no life because I'm not out with my friends. And that's because I just came home from Aki, too. Um, whatever. Maybe uh, me and my friends will chill tomorrow. Maybe not. It's a little bit overwhelming right now. First year of high school, freshman. Um, I actually got, quote, unquote, knighted today. Which is where a ceremony where kids, like, uh, initiate you into being a freshman. I know initiate might be, I know that might spark up some controversy, but it was nothing bad. It was just a whole school and the faculty welcoming you into the community. So, anyway, guys, back to Bivouac. Um, uh, I was with a lot of my friends in my squad, which was great. Because a lot of my friends were not with our past friends, and they kind of get... They kind of got screwed over. Like, um, one of my friends was with a lot of guys who just did not want to do shit. So, he had to do everything, chop wood, and he just got tired of it. He was just like, uh, fuck this, and he went over to our squad, so... It's really important to, when you go out into the woods to have good teammate and team players. Teammates, uh, 
not teammate unless you are alone with somebody else. Uh, whatever. So anyway, in this gameplay, I upgrade my... Okay, I won't spoil the that much, but I actually do upgrade my uh, pistol. And right now we're just camping out on the catwalk because we thought that that would be the best strategy. And it seemed to work out to, so far for us, so we were just chilling up here. And so at Bivouac, one of my... I don't know if I should be tell, telling the whole world this, but one of my um, best friends, or like really close friend of mine, Danny, was in my squad, and a little incident happened to him. So, while Danny was getting the hot water for the uh, washing of the dishes for the night, he slipped, and the hot water burnt his ass. And, oh my gosh, his ass was so burned that there were blisters everywhere, and he had to go to the nurse, and it was just terrible. So, like, imagine this. You're sitting down there with a counselor, having a good meal. Danny just picks up the pot, uh, bucket of water. Nothing big deal. Nothing happened yet. And then you just hear this screaming, Ah! My ass! My ass! And then you just see Danny running up and down like, Ah! And then Danny, I mean the team player that he is, he's like, Fuck! I just ruined, like, our dishwater. I'm like, Danny, you just severely burned yourself. And he's like, No! No, 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 no! I burned myself, but the more important thing is that I hurt our dishwasher or, like, got rid of it. I was like, Danny, you need to go to the nurse. He's like, no. So what ended up happening is when, like, huge blisters started popping out, like, we had to take him over to the nurse while he was half naked, and a teacher yelled at him, which was, I don't know if that's the appropriate time to yell at a student while they are in pain, but, I mean, whatever. Um... Uh, that was the teacher's call, and I will not disrespect that. But anyway, so, uh, yeah, that was that was pretty fun. I mean, there was... Jamie actually got a concussion during Bivouac. He was playing football, and he slipped and fell backwards. So, I mean, that was that was a little... I was very scared for him. We had to... They had to get the ambulance out here. But luckily, it was not too severe because Jamie... Um, they just had to get the ambulance just for... Per precautions or whatever you want to pronounce it as and um, I guess there's only one pronunciation for precautions <laughs> but anyway the so yeah so he, we had to pull out the ambulance and but he was okay afterwards and it was just I mean I think he really he really enjoys camping I'm sure he'll talk about that in his later videos but uh, yeah so back to the gameplay now I hope you enjoyed that first story of my camping story that bivouac um, right now we are still camping out at the catwalk and, once again, it seems to be working out for us. So, what we're doing is that one person, me, uh, right now, is guarding the window. And the other two people, or three people, uh, it depends, we only have three people in this game, are um, just chilling upstairs trying to get some kills. So, um, right now I'm just running a mini train here, because we already have a crawler, so there's no point in making another one. So I just killed the rest of them, and we decided to go upgrade. Now, the reason I really like upgrading the Mustang, or getting the Mustang and Sally, when you upgrade your weapon, is because it is almost a life, it is, it is a lifesaver when you pack a punch it, but sadly they did not include PhD Flopper in this game, so, or Map Jerez, so what are you going to do? I guess it's still the best gun in the game, except, except for the Wonder Waffle, which is my favorite gun by far. I don't give a shit about what people say. If it only kills 10, 10 zombies or 15 zombies, um, the Mustang and Sally probably can kill more. But it is so nice upgraded. It's gold. Oh! I mean, who wouldn't want that? That's just awesome. So, anyway. Um, yeah, I just try to get a good gun here, and I believe I get the HK. Good call! Woo! Oh, I called it. Okay. So, uh, look at that memory, man. Two weeks out of the business and he already remembers it. Alright. So, um, video is going to be ending shortly here in about a minute. But I hope you did enjoy this video because I really am glad to be back. And I'm just pumped up to be making these videos. I'll probably be bringing you guys a video tomorrow morning. I also have a cross-country meet. Yeah, I do cross-country. I'm sorry. You probably think I'm a nerd. But, um, don't stereotype me. Alright. But... Yeah, so I have cross country in the morning. I'll probably post mid afternoon. And do not forget to comment if you liked it. Comment if you didn't like it. Like it if you liked it. 
or dislike it if you didn't like it. Uh, I had a very, very positive response on my last video, so I hope that this one will be just as successful. So, uh, look at this little crawler guy. I'm just messing with him. Um, so, uh, anyway, uh, I really, really like feedback, and I know you guys get upset when I don't respond to your emails. It's just that it's been a little bit jammed, but I will try to get back out to you. If you really have a question, please shoot me up an email at helpmehelpu96 at gmail.com, uh, because I check that more than the actual YouTube uh, email system or whatever you want to call it. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Ooh, what are we at? Like 15 knives? What the hell? All right, guys, video's wrapping up. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Help me help you. Signing off. Everyone, have a nice day.